Hi traders, ITCI looks great for a short, it's gapping down 9% and I'm about to short it, actually wanted to short it, a bit higher from here, I'm still thinking whether I should join now, well this 28 mark looks great, so it just gapped and go, good, I'm short, I'm looking for another 30 cents here, so 27.70 or so will do fine, we got 10 cents, 15 cents, come on baby, here comes the 70, touching the 70, maybe a bit more, oh, I missed it. Well, just touched my target, um, I, I don't usually take uh, take my targets as, as I plan them, I'm trying to get a bit more, but look at this spike up, you never move out on the spike, oh goodness, I was up more than 2 grand, now I'm down 2 grand, and you never move out on the spike. Look at this one green candle here, all the way down from the lows to the highs. That's a point. It's a point. It just moved one point in no time and you never ever move out on a spike. If you had a hard stop there, it would have taken you out. And look at it, it's just coming down again now. Well, I don't know how it's going to end up. I don't know if it's going to come down again. In fact, usually when it spikes up like that, it's more likely to move higher. But you never move out on a spike. You never have hard stops. You use mental stops. When you see a stock moving as fast as you just did, it's usually just a fat finger. Somebody who's buying large quantity and it does not supposed to take you out. Whatever comes next, I don't know. But do not move out on a spike. Do not move out on a spike. Stop right now over the highs. After it cooled down, I'm going to move out if it moves higher over the highs and I have to say it does not look so great right now but in case I'm right and in case it's going to come down again because you know the stock is down 9% I'm going to add I'm going to add under 28 once more because now it's proving to me it wants to come down and it is getting close and I'm about to add now added I'm sure 7600 shares I wanted to be short 8000 doesn't matter and Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Back to the lows, good. Here comes the 70s again. <laughs> I will be quicker this time, good. Under 70. Any sign of pullback? No, took my partial. Well, I could probably have done better, but you know, the best, the best thing uh, you should remember for this video now is never move out on a spike. Look, a losing trade just turned out to be a winning trade. Seems like I could have a long opportunity here in Oracle and I'm planning to go long right now. So uh, Oracle gapped up today, however came down, I'm going long. Long now. 4,000 shares. Oracle uh, is up 2% right now and it started with a gap up, it should gap and go. And it did come down, it was under some pressure. I have approximately 50 cent stop loss, therefore I'll be looking for a 50 cent target. Target should be 60, 80. And I'm not, I, I'm not sure it's going to take, uh, I'm not sure this pullback is going to take Oracle back to the highs, but look at that, it's moving nicely. Watch the buyers, only watch the buyers, they are in the 60s now, 50 something, 60 something. I want to see the buyers moving over 60, 80 in order for me to take a partial. So far it's doing well. So far it's doing well and um, here we go, we are getting closer, I need a bit more, found some resistance here and I'm hoping to get more, 70 is good, 70 something, watch the, over 80 at my target, first sign for pullback that was now, took my partial, well I, I, I'm not sure what Oracle is going to, to do next but that was a nice small trade. Well traders, I've got Tesla on my sides. Tesla is trending lower and I think there's a very interesting opportunity here because look at the market. The market's currently just going sideways. It is a Friday. We're close to the highs. But Tesla is definitely trending lower and I would like to short it because when Tesla starts trending, it should continue trending and I'm about to short 4,000 shares under 372. Watch the buyers here. 370, 40, 30, 20, 372. Now, I'm short, just moved in under 372 and I'm going to add, I'm going to double my size. If it comes down under the lows, that would be 371. And again, watch the buyers here, 370 now, 130 now. Don't look at the chart, don't look at the chart. You're not supposed to be looking at the chart. Getting close, about to click the button now. 
8,000 shares, just double my size. When Tesla comes under the lows, that should be a breakdown. And the reason for that is very simple. Lots of people are watching Tesla. You see, when there's a lo lot of people who are watching Tesla, and now more than ever because of the split it just did, you know, a lot of people are watching it and playing technical formations. So when Tesla is breaking down under the lows, it should continue. So far, it does not. I'm down 10 grand. <laughs> but um, I, I trust Tesla to continue the trend, and it should. And I'm also hoping to get some help from the market. Okay, back to green. Okay, good. $12,000, $16,000, $20,000. And the S&P is helping now. Look at the S&P. S&P started helping me. And Tesla finally did what I expected. Look at this beautiful breakdown in Tesla, $25,000. And the S&P is helping. Great. We are coming down $30,000. Going, going. Come on, Tesla. Come to Papa. Just a bit more. I need to cover my loss from Tesla at the beginning of the week. Okay, 37, 39, $40,000. S&P is helping. Look at the S&P. I couldn't ask for more. I couldn't ask for more. When the S&P started moving down, look at what happened to Tesla. Well, Tesla would have done it anyway, in my opinion, because it was trending lower. But, you know, again, when the S&P comes down and Tesla comes down and they both do it together and we've got a new low of $49,000, $50,000, $60,000. Any sign of a pullback? I think it's now. Took my partial. Wow, what a trade in Tesla, helped by the S&P and by all of these people who are trading Tesla. You know, when there's a lot of people who are watching Tesla, then technical analysis became, becomes valid. You know, technical analysis is just a self-fulfilling prophecy. And when there's a lot of people watching Tesla, looking for a breakdown and they click the button, well, first, you want to be there before them. That's why my my short was at 372 and I only added when the crowd came in. That's a great trade in, in Tesla, uh, helped by the market. So, end result is great. As you can see here, I'm up over $40,000. And somehow, I thought I'm not going to recover my loss uh, from uh, Tuesday, which was the first trading day of the week this week. And I did. I did. I had a $20,000 day winner, 43 today, another $5,000 winner day, and <laughs> I'm back to green this week, helped by Tesla. Wow. Guys, if you want to join us, you just need to click here, and you can join us for a free 14-day trial in our trading room, because you see, all of these trades are being called live in our trading room. So I'm looking forward to trading with you, and have a great weekend. See you all next week. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.